Why are you both of you? Like seriously? We here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. Dissing me all day. I didn't. Yo, could you enter the I show? I just got Season here. Season 4, episode 37. We here every Thursday on Thursday. It's the breakdown. Dude, With tone of my dude. voice to my left. Mike, the camp out to my right. High Beast Radio Hollywood star over here. And KB in the middle. I feel like you're being a dick about Shoe it. Shoe design. It's a lot of uh, <laughs> little things over here. What's mm -hmm. going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What up to Groot? You ain't gonna say hi to Groot. You're like oh, suffocating him. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, my man Groot <laughs> getting mad disrespectful in like two episodes in. I don't even know what's going on anymore. He knows more than you about shoes. He's got a better attendance than Tone Group. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a salty mama, please. I'm sorry. Tone Group? Well played. Well played, friend. Anyway, uh, let's kick this off with, uh, yeah, if you guys want to catch the hype report every Saturday at like 10-ish, in the bio. Why is it 10-ish? It's the hype report this week. Oh, you still talking shit? <laughs> it doesn't drop at 10, it's like 10-ish. Ish. Look, it's really I always miss it when it debuts. <laughs> I'm always like 10 minutes behind, so I'm like, oh, uh, ish. ish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, what do we got here? Kick Finish. it off, KB. All right, I'll, I'll kick it off, kick it off. Kick it off so with KB. I reached That's out. My new show. Kicking it off with kick, kick, kick it off? No, it doesn't make sense. Kick um, it off with KB. I reached out to Saucony and I reached out to ASICS to get some, uh, some <coughs> calendar information for the people in the comment section. So on the Saucony side, you've got a Europe only release at the beginning of this month, which was the oh my god Europe the, only. Yeah, this is the the, um, the leather Azura pack. Quality looks crazy. A one on these bad boys. They look like a leather wallet. One twenty on the price point on these on these 120? joints. One twenty. Yeah. That quality. Whoa. Looks nice. Europe also, only. Also, you got the Azura, They're which is cool. men's and women's. You guys have seen that on my Instagram. Very very fire shoe that dropped earlier this month but that it like they drop at separate times throughout the month at different locations so you have to keep your eyes peeled uh and then we got what we got here we got the four pack we got the outdoor gear no what's the what's the model what's the Saucony, the jazz. the jazz right i believe so the small ass pictures i got god damn it the jazz original <laughs> jazz original in four yo, different colors yo can you put your airplane mode on what? Uh, notifications are popping up. Retail 65. They come in women's sizes as well, 5 through 10, 11 and 12. Where are we? Men's sizes Whoa. 7 through 14. So it's for everybody. Retail 65, if you didn't hear. I, li what? I, like, that. I like that purple and uh, yellow joint. Yeah, that Lakers yeah, color. Cool. I like nice. the gray, blue, and slime. The purple one has that aquamarine like sock liner in the lace. Slime one's yeah, fire. Nice. Slime one's fire too, though. The I might need that purple pair. Yeah, that's men's only. I don't think they come in women's. No, no, they come in women's as well. They got women's, they got adults, Purple they got and giants. Purple slime. Purple slime. Oh, the slime Third. one, I see. It's very KB-ish. No. I mean, like a, a hit. Slime. Just a hit. Yeah. Are they $65 retail? They're $65 wow. retail. Yo. Suggested retail price. That's our Shout out to Saucony for wow. the fucking price point. I doubt my own. I gotta see the shit. material in that. Might as well get three of them and that'll be one Nike shoe. Huh. Nobody Actually, wants to buy one. 180, 195, yeah, three is 195, 196. That's a, that, that was the price Sheet. of my 270 React. The price is worth it. Anyway, all right. Uh, also, if you guys missed it last week, the Academic Scholar Pack from A6, you had the Gel Kayano 5 OG. Fire. So it's fire. Uh, the Kayano 26 and the Gel Nimbus 21. I like the Nimbus uh, too. And this, this very collegiate style color, super fire. I don't know who designed it, but. Hey, shout out to Trey Kudos to that guy. Yeah. All right, next up. This is one of my favorite colors. 913, you got Ame Leon, the uh, Dore, whatever. These uh, are not for me. Sweet Coke debuts hop boot collaboration for fall winter 19 they drop tomorrow uh, i'm assuming it's a price a. point i that's a good question i would assume like in the 250 range no nah, it's probably like in the 600. nah no way yeah yeah that shit's made expensive that's yeah cool. they're, they're expensive as like brown like i mean if they're smart it'll be in the 250 Sweatpants range 300 dollars. is it worth it I don't they're think really it is. Good quality, I mean, yeah. yo, the, the clothing is fire. Yeah, the, the clothing, clothing fire. The material is nice. Good. It feels it's, good. Yeah, it's very, very. Yeah, you actually like go with like. But you know, when I used to buy it from Kit, it wasn't that expensive. The which one? I didn't. Even... It wasn't as expensive as it is now. What? When 
I used to buy um, a from Kick or. Oh, yeah. Yes? No? I don't know. I'm going to move along. Is, 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 what do you got something to say about that say statement? I don't know. I have, I'm asking. I, I have to do some more research before I can bring it to the table. I, I do, because okay. it's, it's, it's a bomb. Okay. It's a bomb. That's, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't just drop random accusations well, like some of these you. motherfucking YouTubers out. Oh, sorry. Inspired you. <clears> you know? Unlike some of these know? YouTubers out here that just put stuff in their title. And they just, oh, oh, whatever, anyway. Oh, three colors. You got black. You got a uh, green and green, or blue and green and yellow. Oh my God! There you go. That's twice. twice. I'm, I'm trying to cut you off. You gotta put, your, you you put your phone down. Usually the phone's elsewhere or in your pocket. You can't. This is no Damn, good. Damn, twice. Go go get Aren't you orders. happy? I said to change it. I mean, this is. I two. try to catch you. You dropped both iPads today. You dropped this well, one. Well, technically, I didn't drop that one. The chairs dropped. I gave it to the chair to hold on. <laughs> I tried that once. Remember, that's how I dropped it. You, yeah, in between. And yeah, I tried. You, I did the same thing. That's, that's what happened to me. That's how this I got is, that this one. This is why we don't have three zero for iPads. two. Zero for two. Well, now. I'm definitely winning on the good iPad from now on. Undefeated <laughs> Nike. Oh, somebody else. Talk. We all got in trouble. Undefeated today. Nike Zoom Kobe Four Proto. Pro Tro, excuse me. Is black this navy Mamba, blue or black? One eighty. Uh, is it iridescent? I think it's gold. Is, is it, it navy blue? I think it's gold. It's like that DSM iridescent. It looks gold. Nah, it looks iridescent. It looks navy blue. Wow, it looks gold to me. What color are you guys? Well, have? my favorite part is the undefeated logo on the top. Where is it? <laughs> I can't see. It. Oh, there it is. That's it. It looks navy I blue. I like undefeated. Guys, I'm let us know if the shoe is navy blue, black, or gold. It's definitely it's iridescent. Black. That's what it is. Iridescent. It's uh, black it might be a navy blue. It looks black to me. It's it, it, because it's iridescent. It's hard to pick up on a color because on the tongue up there it looks blue and a yellow hue and a little bit of green. Black to me. It looks yellow to me. I don't know. What do you mean? There's, there's other colors in the shoe. You schlep. I know I see iridescent. Yeah, that's okay. So then what the fuck? You All right, call... you're schlep. You're schlep. <laughs> Come on, keep, keep moving. Keep moving. Snakey React Zer 2 150. Uh, yeah. Nice colorway. Fire. The colorway is nice. Man, you're very aggressive. I love there. these shits. What are you like them, dude? Oh, this is, what do uh, the laces this is crack. look like? Not... <laughs> what do the laces look like? The lace, the, they're rope lace. That's not Tito's like in there. Satin right? rope lace. They... All right, whatever. Cool. What, what do you, you mean? have a better picture? The laces are right here. I do have a better picture. On all the right sides. They don't have like wax laces. All right, next up. Keep going. Come on, buddy. Might get that Hirachi Ray Tough for 350. These are kind of fire. Mm -hmm. oh, Reservation for the Adapt Hirachi? Right now? Yeah. They might have my phone away. Probably in 15 minutes. All right, we keep it going. Pharrell Williams. <laughs> Adidas crazy BYW high six colors retail for two twenty. It's not loading. Son of a bitch. Wait, did you skip over the adapt Hirachi or what? Yep. Moving on, for real Williams whoa, 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 Adidas. Time time. How did you skip the Hirachi? Because you guys aren't paying attention anymore. Well, you uh, you just you just skip right over there. No, no, we so said it, it and then we moved on to the next so one. So it was a break for sneakers app. Why would bring it? But I wasn't gonna break for the sneakers app because yeah, probably fifteen minutes. Yeah, you know, the adapt Hirachi is clean. It's not a Hirachi, but it's dope. It's dope. It's dope. I like it. Fuck you, Sakari. The neck, I'm not. Next. Okay, go Pearl ahead. Pearl Adidas Crazy B Y W High Six Colors, two twenty. Uh, weak, 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 and weaker. There's a pink. There's a yellow the with bolt. Nice. There's a like a stone white. I like an orange, green. burnt green. orange. The green is. Yeah. Green is nice. And the black. They look like Ninja Turtle feet. That's Wait, cool. maybe you should get it. Where are we the orange pair is nice. The orange pair is Ninja nice. Turtle. You could be a Ninja Turtle for Halloween. Could wear those with your Ninja Turtle. You could eat your pizza. Anyway, Pharrell Williams and Adidas NMD HU Trail Love. I just Black. Did that. Turtles love pizza. We should do it to Ninja Turtles. The guy, he's Raphael. Pharrell Williams and Adidas <laughs> oh, Solar HU Love. What are we talking about? My Four colors. Sure. There's a red, there's a blue, there's a yellow, and there's a pur 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 purple. Is there any boost? I thought we were talking about these. Damn, no boost. boost. That means going straight to the outlet. What's going on here? Uh, Nah, I'm uh, back. Whatever. Retro Super Future Times Vans Authentic. You, you missed the shoe. Uh, we'll do this you one missed first. one. Adidas Ultra Boost. You missed one. I don't want to go over it. 4.0 Moon Festival. Where is this festival this thing? Yeah. Trash. I, yeah, but like, I don't know what's going on with you two. What well, you I two? know what's going on with him. And well, you keep it. dropping iPads. What do you mean, you people? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't say you people. No, no. Okay, is somebody ahead. being a salty mom? You go ahead, do the retro super bro. I see this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why are you being so salty over there? You alright? You drink some more of your crack. <laughs> KB, come on, we can do it. Get in mad, look at him. Go. 
<laughs> Action. Retro Super Future Times Van Authentic. $85. Black with the purple bottom. And yeah, off white, uh, beige looking with the. Cream and the yellow. I'm bright the yellow. ass green. Yeah. Retro Super Future, for those of you who don't know, do really bright sunglasses at a high price point. So the fact they're doing collab on the low band joint is actually kind of clean. And the outsoles actually are indicative of the frames, colors that they use. High five. Fuck you guys. John Elliott times Nike LeBron 914, two colors, 250. What's the retail of the pants? Oh, oh, 85. Okay. The John Elliott and the pink are fire. On yeah, foot? I... No, the pictures they posted aren't good. The pictures are It's awesome. a lifestyle sneaker and they're like trying to push it some other way. Yeah, but it's not nice. like on a basketball court, this photo shoot. Yeah, I, I get oh, that it's boy. a basketball sneaker, but it works better in lifestyle. Where's the olive <laughs> pin? I saw a photo of the olive pin. Well, maybe pair. they want people to play basketball on it. I don't know, but I, I just saw these two. Just That's all right. That's all right. Moving on. Ooh, the salt. Adidas Easy Desert Boot Oil. Retail for 200 And they got the salt colorway and the rock colorway. They're all dropping in full size run. Infant. They look pretty cool. I like them. I like the boots. I like the Easy Boots too, yeah. It, it's actually the, the, what is it, the Rat rat Runner, Rat Race, whatever it's Desert Rat. Desert, desert boot. Rat Silhouette, kind of. Just in a boot, and I think it looks better than the Desert Rat does. Yeah. <coughs> Oh, well, that was a first one. First one, first one. Comfort I don't know how I feel about it yet. <coughs> it on for they look good in small sizes. Again, the white pair, I would want to die. Am I in the wrong breakdown? Yeah, you're in the wrong breakdown. Oh. You're right where you're supposed to be right now. The tan pair is the best one. The rock. Or is it? Yeah, it's the rock it's one. the rock in your area. Adidas Torsion to X 180. Mm. No, thank you. I think it's the picture that's making these look like shit. They might be a little bit better. The, nah, you're whatever. Yeah, keep moving. Air Jordan 3 Knicks coming out in men's and grade school retail for 190 in the men's size and 140 for grade school. When did these drop? They're nice. When did these drop? This Saturday. This weekend. Uh, it says right there. Oh, there's no date on it. Damn. It's going to be the 14th on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. I've the seen date. them in person already. They're very nice. The date is uh, when you get to the actual. Oh, we get to the first one. Right? The 14th. And then everything underneath is the 14th. Uh, next up, we got Comme des Garçons. CDG. Air Jordan 1. I don't even understand why they would pass this. Retail like, for three forty-five. Like it's for a different demographic. It's for a different uh, fashion I, world. I get it, but do they make it for other demographics too? They're gonna make it just for fashion? Like I'm, I'm confused. No, it's not for everybody. They're gonna make ones for farmers in the Midwest. They or, might. I'm confused. Why not? Like that doesn't make sense. Let's get a pair of Air Jordan ones for the farmers in the Midwest. They'll probably. Oh, that's limited. why they dropped the Jordan one uh, wheat for the farmers. The wheat. The week comes those for like people uptown. town. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah. And last but not least, we got a little Asics hit. Uh, Asics Gel Kensi OG in the silver and red. I like them. I don't like the air, the 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 gel on the heel. It looks very yeah, small. Yeah, I don't like it. It, it looks like I might shock. Tip over. Like I might... sh it looks like kind of like a shock, but like smaller. Hmm. I like them. Definitely hmm. no. Scrap that. I feel like I'm gonna. I like the rest of the shoe except for that one part. That part. That part. That part. Uh, okay. Best drop of last weekend. We had a few and Diodora at 80%. Wow. I think that's Unmatched. the largest uh, victory for a weekend drop we've had ever. Not going to lie to you. 14% for none of the above. Shout out to you. One for the FIBA. So, somebody like Who? Why did you put the FIBA? I just want to see if you didn't even vote for it. <laughs> the OBJs were nice. The OBJs were 3% worthy. 3% worthy. Whatever. Alpha sauce, you ready? I should have fucking ordered two. God damn. What you got in there? I thought you did order two. Nope. Only ordered one. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. AB Arches. No, 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 no. Tone. Actually, you might want to put the, the iPad down. I bet. I'm going to throw it first. Then we'll do all this. Alpha thoughts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, shout out to everybody that came down to DMV, uh, that was at the DMV Sneaker Con. Uh, that popped out for the evening uh, debacle, deba debauchery. Shout out to <laughs> Chester Cogsworth. Uh, leaving me plenty of room to sit in the backseat of the Uber. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun out there. Yo, it was pretty funny. It was, it was pretty funny. funny as fuck. We did some pizza reviews. We did also, some drinking. If anybody's going to be in Canada at SeekerCon next week, I'll be speaking yeah. there. Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, so. What's that out of boot? That's international. I'll be. <laughs> Kind of. What's that? 
Think of, uh, but, but that. So Toronto next week. What are you, are you going for um, Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, I was going Saturday. Day Saturday. one to be nice prime time. You know. Cool. Prime time. <laughs> Shut up. What? Kids watch this show. You just. This is not a kids show. This is this is not a kids show. Anyway. Kids, go to go to bed. It's eight <laughs> o'clock. It's way too fucking late. It's a school night. Uh, <laughs> Wait, school's work. back on. You got yeah. go to bed. You shouldn't be watching this. Anyways. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll be speaking in Toronto about my shoe again. So. Fire. That's it? Um, yeah, shout out to everyone who listened to me in D.C. And yeah, I had fun. So all my friends chilled. Laughed my ass off Saturday night. Met Pretty some funny. new people. And networked, you know? Network for your network. People are like, oh, you're that other guy. I'm like, yeah, Tone. Oh, the guy. People want to meet you. Yeah, they're looking for you. Come to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, nope, nope. Come here. Uh, next up, if you guys are familiar with Facebook, I'm not sure if any of you guys are on Facebook, there has been some heated debates about raffle pickups, sneakers and stuff, Diodora, and a few. What? Yeah. What happened? So. No way. Really? Something weird happened at a release? Unbelievable! I don't understand why you guys would think that there would be first come first. Okay, so I was trying to shoot for a first come first serve scenario or a raffle scenario at S&S. That's not what they do. Uh, in turn, a lot of pairs of the friends and family stuff showed up on Deodora Talk. Uh, whatever the post was, a lot of people were fucking salty and upset about it. Uh, they backdoored the pairs. They were leftover pairs. People entered from all over the world to try and go there. You know that if they win, they're not going to go pick up that shoe. So the best thing to do in that scenario is only have people in the city enter that can actually go get the pairs. So you don't have a leftover situation. If you're in fucking Zimbabwe, don't enter a raffle in New York City. How about that? Haters. That's first and foremost. Like, that, that's like, it's really inconceivable why people do that shit. Like, oh, I'm going to fly there and get it when they tell me the day before. Oh, you're going to spend fucking $1,700 on your flight? You might as well buy the shoe resale. Stop bitching about it. But anyway, the pairs are left over. They end up at a certain seller. The seller then puts them up for a price. The seller doesn't pay retail for said shoes. I hope you do realize that. They're not just like, oh, here you go. Take all these pairs that are going for $800 on fucking StockX or wherever the fuck you're looking to post them. They, they're... It's it's a thing that happens. I, I hate to say it, but like it happens in certain fucking places. Anyway, let's not get into details. Anyway, it, it's not a free thing for them. They they pay for the shoe. You're paying a premium over that. Like that's what happens. It's it's. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't people are like, oh well, fuck this guy for having bad pairs. Yeah, I don't. Can you guys have any thoughts on this, or like, am I fucking crazy? Some people still get it for box price, multiple pairs. Some people. That some people rather pay a fee. That, that's your opinion on this whole thing. Yeah, that, that was no. the one thing you had the to say. That, I don't want to say anything about it. The ones that are successful don't pay. They pay the overpriced and then they get a little bit over it. He's not making tons of money on every shoe. He's making a little on a lot of shoes. I, that's what a smart re reseller does. They get multiple pairs and you know, cuts the premium down. So they're selling all of their pairs and getting their money back faster. And the customers and then, are coming back. But the, I'm, not here to, I'm not here to pitch resale. I'm trying to explain <laughs> the scenario to people. Like... It, 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 it's like, oh, I don't understand why they wouldn't do a first come first serve. The, the area that they're in, they can't do first come first serve because there's a lot of residential people there. They don't do that. So that's out. But for the raffle shit, I, I, I go through raffles all the time. I'm at raffles all the time, and people will show up. Some people will come from Philadelphia. Some people will come from D.C. The tri-state area. Like, like, more or less. Yeah, it's Philly, easier yeah. if you're in New York or, yeah. like, uh, upstate New York or, uh, like, in the surround Connecticut. If you're in California, why would you enter? But, like, I, I've had people enter a raffle for cost fours and actually fly out because yeah, they gave them a three-day heads four. up. They gave them a three-day heads up, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the raffle drops on a Wednesday and the pickup's on a Friday and you don't know if you won until Thursday, you're not going to fly out. Don't enter this shit. Like, it just I, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, you're just leaving those pairs for other people that you don't want to have. Like, yeah. And plus, I know people that, that won the raffle and sold them immediately. So, it's just the same your thing. Spite nose off to spite your face. <laughs> Whatever. It's just it's just a fucked up situation. You can't please everybody. Everybody's gonna have something negative to say no matter what. And I don't like the back. I don't like that that aspect either. But like once it's there, like it's it's over. What are you gonna do? You you you're talk enough to make them return the shoes? Like well, I don't understand. Like, what do you think is gonna happen by bitching so much? Like nothing. nothing, nothing and it's nothing. not fucking a fuse fault either. Like it has nothing to do with them because they had no control over the situation. So realistically, I just narrowed down where you should be talking. Um, let's move along. Mark. 
Uh, chicken or the egg? SNS does uh, first come first serve. Chicken or the sometimes. Egg? Yeah, sometimes. After their raffles are over. Mm -hmm. I love how you leave shit in code words and we're supposed to know what's going on. Dum 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 What came first, the chicken or the egg? That age old question. Egg. Well, but who laid the egg? The atmosphere. <laughs> the chicken that was there before? Alright, so what there? came first? I feel like the, it, it evolved into a chicken, whatever the thing was, and laid the first egg. Uh, it sounds like a thing. I don't think an egg just appeared out of nowhere. It's like, oh, All right, shit, like, chicken. Anyway, what uh, part of the chicken, chicken or the egg? What's What works better? A new style coming out and the collab drops first, or the OG drops first and then a collab? I like OG. The OG if there is OGs, drop the OG colorways first and then move up. This is a viewer question as well, so if you're in the, the, you're in the live the chat, which I might be in. But if it's like a new silhouette, <laughs> oh, wait, then. if it's a new silhouette, then you just drop regular inline Sorry, stuff guys, and then I'm do collaboration here. later. Tony, so you going to be in the live chat tonight? He's never in the live chat. So so you think it's better to drop the OG? Yeah, if there is an OG follow color, up with a, But if it's like a new silhouette, just drop inline colorways, test it out, see what people think, and then drop a bomb collaboration. Just take off from there. What about you? Hey. I'm thinking. Hey. Of... Hey, you get off the iPad. I'm... <laughs> you shut your mouth. Probably and talk the OG, me. but. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't drop the OG every time before you're dropping a collab. So. What? What about? Forget all that. Drop it on the internet first. OG collaboration, whatever, and see what bites the best without putting any names on it. Just drop them. Be like, oh, we got this stuff well, coming out, and see what people what like the most. I, I mean, I'm just saying, but like, even if you have an OG or a collaboration, or you have a new model with a collaboration, you can put them all on the same thread and be like, which one do you got? We got a couple new things coming out, and see who likes what the most. When they don't know any backstory behind it. Yeah, when it's just like, oh, oh, that model's pretty cool. That one looks dope. I like that colorway. Meanwhile, it's like not even connected to a collab, but like they like it better than the collab. It's oh, like what uh, Extra Butter did when they have like different uh, collaboration colorways that you could pick and like vote Oh, you're talking about the uh, Bayou, For You? Yeah, that was cool. Buy us for, that, yeah. for Fubu by Extra Butter. Fuck you, pay For Fuck us, you buy, buy us Extra Butter. Uh. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I definitely think like it's an easier time for brands to like delineate what they should put out just based on social engagement. I like that. Moving along. Do you want to take the first question, comment, to whatever this guy's talking about? Oh, it's Jamal. Hey, Jamal. I might answer your text message. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> have you seen, I might respond. Have you seen this now? And, and I haven't answered hasn't yet. Responded, it's fucked up because this shit gets in at Hashtag eight. Groot. As mainstream media such as ESPN start to vote in highlights events such as SneakerCon, how does that impact the culture? Are we seeing the hype bubble of the market? I don't feel like answering this, so. <laughs> the hype <laughs> bubble? Why do you don't feel like answering it? I don't know, sometimes Jamal's questions are just no interest to me. So it doesn't... Okay. Message. Just being honest. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah, how do you feel about this? <laughs> me too, I don't want to answer it either. Why would you put this question in? Do you care I, about I, I feel like it's a good question. Oh, so answer it. It's just, I'll, I'll, I want to hear your perspective. I know what I think. I mean, yeah, of course. It's, I mean, of course. Like, the more exposure the community gets, the more exposure and the more it's going to grow. That's it. Period. Culture's going to change and evolve. And it's just going to be a memory just like oh, when hip-hop started. That's it. I need, I need smaller stores to start embracing this and continue, hopefully continue to do small niche things. That's what's going to keep like the core shit alive. Answer so I can sound stupid so he can sound good. You didn't even read the, you read the question <laughs> and didn't answer it. Yo, take the animosity I'm just, down. I'm just trying to get some shit down. done here. I understand. All right, anyway. Fuck you, Jamal. Maharishi uh, delivery. Maharishi. That's what he said on the email. Uh, drops, though. It's just drops. Uh, Chester, uh, yeah. It's going to impact the culture for sure. It's going to be more exposure, ESPN, and all of that. So. Oh, you're in now. You're in? You're in? <laughs> all right. Put I me thought, in, coach. I thought you said, like, for the month. No, I was don't want to talk either. Oh, my God. It's very aggressive over here. I know. It's hot. Oh, no. It's very angry. What you been drinking? Is that really cold? All that caffeine is, is getting Can I have me. a drink? Drink some water. Somebody get this guy some water. Send him a case of water to his P.O. box. Only Essentia. Damn. Okay. Well, send me a pack, too. <laughs> if we're doing that, then. All right, well, All right Chester your... Cogsworth. Chester, what up? You want your drink? Let's <laughs> smack that shit on your shoe. You done? Okay, massive. It was You're done, though. 
It was my great pleasure to finally meet KB this past weekend, along with a host of other fun characters. It was an experience that I'll never forget and always treasure. The experience left me wondering how to encourage more social interaction at releases or through special events. Extra Butter does movie nights, for example. What kind of things would you do as a retailer to encourage community? B.S. I'm, I have to stop at showroom to meet Tone to complete the breakdown trifecta. We Yo, here. we here. Brooklyn. Show us. Um, we all here. Hashtag we all here. Go KB. Just, I mean, I feel like the community has to make the community. I don't feel like you can rely on stores to have events. and I mean, that does help meet people, but kind of have to, like, build the relationships and sustain that. Sometimes people are busy with like other things going on, so sometimes they can't make other events, no, that's like cool. all the events too. So there's a lot of people that don't come to all the events. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like a lot of people don't there's go like to the events. There's like definitely a, a good like thirty people that I expect to see or know one or another time that I'm at these events. So yeah. shout out to all of you. I feel like we're family. And shout out to actually Butter because like you were saying, like having that niche and like the communities like holding on, like you know keeping your your audience alive. I don't think people realize like how hard it is to get a group of people that don't know each other into the same room, even though like their common denominator is sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Like people aren't as outgoing, or uh, a lot of people are introverts, where they're like, oh, you know, I like this new community, and I like to engage it through social media or a platform, not in person. But, like they want that camaraderie, but like it's hard. Like it's a lot easier to be cool and try and help somebody out if you know them. You know. Anyway, everybody's stuck in the Matrix world online. Shout internet. out to all of you that bought my shoe, that I met me through SneakerCon and at events and shit like Shout that. out to everybody that we meet in person. Yeah, facts. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. And if I don't follow you, tell me your name and I will follow you. I'm sorry. Some people don't, you have sneaker pictures as your picture and I just don't. Yeah, they're like, oh, you don't, you don't recognize me? I'm like, look, I know you. No have idea who you are. Kermit the Frog is your photo there. Oh, your yeah, page is private. Of course I don't know who you are. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, you want to take that to a tone? Where are we at? Uh, Raph. Raph, buddy. Hashtag. Indeed. Group, what up, group? Drove down eight hours to pick up, see? Eight hours is sufficient. But he knew he was gonna do it. Yeah. He knew the risk he was taking. Right, Not 13 hour flight. <laughs> Hashtag group, it was my great pleasure to finally meet K. Oh, that was Chester. Hashtag group, drove down eight hours to pick up those a few N9000 and shove money out on the hotel. Can we talk about how great the size Reebok Bolton run runners are? Wait a minute. Hold up, Reeboks and Adidas still have Primo leather on quite a bunch of their products at a lower price point. Mm -hmm. Crack it. Oh, come on. What do you want? Come back. If New Balance can't do it at the 200 price point, then why Nike can't? Nike just cutting corners trying to make a buck. Show Russ, two hours ago, edited. That's pretty true. That's the truth. It's, come on, Nike is all about the margin. Where's the lie? We all know this. We've been saying this shit for years. We know, but we just... Shove it underneath the carpet and we just keep buying what we buy because we like what we like, you know? It's just, it is what it is. I think there's another perspective to that. Do, do share. I think that the amount of pairs that Nike puts out, they can't do it. That, that too. I mean, you... We you, touched you, up on that a lot. You gotta think about, like, how much Nike produces over New Balance, like, over Reebok, <coughs> over Adidas. So, like, in, in all seriousness, like, they can't do it. Like it wouldn't make sense. Like I wouldn't expect them to put premium suede on every single shoe or premium leather yeah. on every single shoe they put out. Once in a while to like, you know, bring back uh, an OG model and bring it to the the original aesthetic with the original materials. Okay, cool. But I, I don't even think it's about making a buck. It's a lot of employees. It's a lot of shipping. It's a lot of handling. And it's now a lot you of got marketing taxes. they got to pay for. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They have a lot of bills to pay for at Nike. Those so pictures don't take themselves. And they could definitely sell five hundred thousand pairs of one release compared to New Balance. They can make their money back easy. Uh, do you guys want to move along? Yeah, I'm about the next one. London? Calf official? Yeah. Hashtag group, come to London soon. As an older sneakerhead, not yet OG status, I try to empower new and younger sneakerheads to go for sneakers they like, or at least try out designs that capture attention. I find that my OGs have grown bitter and seem to hate everything about modern day sneaker co culture <laughs> or anything popular just because it's popular. In a negative and toxic way. So I'm going to flip this question. How <coughs> would your general advice be OG sneakerheads that seem to be losing their passion and joy? Or would accept that maybe sneakers ain't for them anymore and keep it moving? At Cat Official Insta. <coughs> Cat Official Insta. Show less. Five days ago. Edited. Mike, you alive over there? You good? Oh my god. What are you choking on? Water? I don't even know what it is. You choking oh on Oh my air? god. How many fucking questions are on? There's a lot. That's why I'm trying to keep it moving. 
All right, well, I think that my advice would be stop being so bitter and chill out <laughs> because I'm OG Sneakerhead and I like new designs. <coughs> you buy what you like, not for the hype. If you like hype shit, buy I feel it. like certain, you know, some people grow out of certain designs of and certain fashion things. So it's it's fine if you don't have the same passion don't for it anymore. Don't be a hater because like, back when you were younger, there was new designs coming yeah. out that put you on. Yeah, don't, don't be a salty mama. <laughs> Salty Mama? Yeah. But they don't even, these people don't know what Salty Mama is, though. What's a Salty Mama? It's like Salty Mama. Yeah. That's not really what it is, but if you explain what a Salty Mama is, then. Sugar Mama or Salty Mama? <laughs> Sugar Mama, like, fucking takes care of you. Maybe since you want to let them know. It's salty Mama. No, whatever it is. Salty Mama is salty. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, um, so, I think that <clears throat> if you're an OG in your respective field and like you've been shopping at stores long enough you you should probably have some kind of relationship with them like maybe they don't give you every shoe but like once in a while when you hit them up like hey you know i, I, I really like this shoe you you know the manager by now you know the employees that have been through there like somebody's gonna be like yo yo make sure you know so and so gets Take a care fucking of shoe you yeah. know what i'm saying especially like the smaller stores uh i, I feel like it might be hard to do from time to time but like when the raffle's up over or whatever instead of selling it to the <laughs> back the door, like they hook up like their customers which i think is a fair thing to do and, but but i definitely think that at this point if you're older and you're an og in the game you should have a solid ring of contacts that you can reach out to yeah. if not then so be it just adapt to the game as it grows. Or you just don't give a fuck. Uh, next up, we got David Blockman. I had to cut your comment short because I'm not reading two paragraphs. Your segment. We have to cut your segment. Is social media killing the cross-cultural appeal of sneakers? I feel like the camaraderie and community sparked it, sparked by in-person releases has diminished a lot of the passion for runners. And where <clears> once <throat> we had a large online community for sneaker fans in general, IG and Twitter algorithms have really segmented the market to split up Jordan fans from runner fans from other niche fa sneaker fans. Do you feel like you see more of one type of sneaker or brand and that's why runners seem irrelevant or do you really see or do you really not see anything too compelling in the runner market? Show less five days ago. Whose question is this? That is David I'm Blackmore. Look what I got for David Blackmore. <laughs> and then well, you clicked it. You're, you're a dick. You know? I Press I done. It. Press <laughs> done. Press done on the top left. No, oh, it's I, oh, not I got there. chicken connoisseurs comment. How did that happen? Yeah, it's chicken connoisseur. What the fuck? Oh, no, no, no. no. Go, you know, one more. No, it's not here. I'm not crazy. That's so weird. Anyway, well, I read it, so. All right, cool. I didn't listen. Do you have Dave's on yours? Yeah, the, he does. Oh, I probably just didn't load. <sighs> Too weird. Okay. Uh, So we see a lot of Nike and a lot of Adidas out there because we just finished saying like a few moments ago. The marketing is everything and the celebrities are endorsing it. So a lot of people are moving away, I feel like, from the runners and they're moving back into the Nike or the Adidas hype and the craze. I mean, you, you still have runners in Everybody Nike just, and Adidas. Yeah, but it's not the same fan base as to the Asics and the Saucony's and the New Balance, the Adora runners. Uh, okay, so so uh, I got I to gotta play devil's advocate on this one. So you got uh, Blue Ribbon Sports, derived from Asics Tiger, running... For running, so Nike and Asics are both like two very large running companies. Like that's what they're based in. So you can't say that Nike isn't a runner, also. But I'm talking about the, like the premium stuff. I'm, that's, I'm saying it's like a different <laughs> audience, a different crowd that wears like the the Asics and New Balance and the the Saucony and the Diodors. Like they're usually not looking for Nike and Adidas stuff. What do you mean? Like that's people? message. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so, no, I, I get what you're saying, but I, I feel like as someone who likes runners, and I do say that in regard to New Balance, Asics, and Saucony, or more than I do, that I, if I'm picking up a runner, I'm like, oh, I picked up a Nike. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say I picked up a runner, even though it's a runner from Nike. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, it's still, I, I keep it separate, so I, don't, I wouldn't consider Air Max 1 a runner. This kind of touches on uh, Chicken Connoisseur's comment, by the way. I just saw the loop with David Blackman's comment. Well, you're not paying attention. No, you're I'm, on I'm Instagram. Because you couldn't read it. I couldn't read it. And you're like not on the episode right now. You're not even in the comments <laughs> that you read yourself. So, I mean, what do you mean? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it, it's definitely hard, especially like blog sites. Blog sites aren't being asked to post Saucony. They're not being asked to post Asics, except for like when you see something like this. Or you see, like, Ryan Pike. You see, like, collaboration from someone that does a lot, a lot of things, too. A lot of attention. Yeah, but, like, inline stuff, they're just dropping. If you go to if you go to sneaker news, you, you see Nike and Adidas. 
And then sometimes you'll see collaboration, Diodora, if it's Rick and Morty, or a few. But like they're not putting their GR shit in there. They put everything from Nike GR in the release. Because catalogs. there's no attention and there's no money behind like the marketing problem. Yes, there's yes. nobody paying for those advertisements. They're like, I'm not gonna pay for that. Like they're gonna sell, they're gonna sell regardless. It's two different companies and two different approach. Yeah. Fair. All right, next question. Who we have to? We are you know also, we, uh, well, we can probably, the I just boyo. want to shout out uh, Chicken Connoisseur uh, in regards to this topic about like runners and what runners are classified as. Mm, nice. I, I kind of just touched on that, so we're good to go. So shout out Chicken Connoisseur. Uh, next up we got, uh, oh, we're almost done. I heard of someone, Oni, it, how do you say his name? Oni, what up? I heard someone <laughs> say that if you only like three at five, you're not an A6 fan. Five days ago, so concur, he, sir. Concur. He's referring to the Jedi like three. I like concur, five. sir. Word. That's it. I own a lot of other models. So. Do you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't how, do, how do you feel about people calling themselves sneakerheads and they only wear like one specific brand? Can I mean, really classify themselves this, as sneakerheads? Eventually, there's gonna that's gonna wind up happening. Uh, You're having uh, your time. Uh, I know. I, I, I definitely get where you're going with this. Yeah. I understand. Are you wearing a sneakerhead or just a Jordan? Uh, what are your thoughts on it though? Like that's a good question. Like, your I, I think you're just you're just gonna be a Jordan head. Like if you're just wearing like you're just buying OG colorways for Jordan, like you're a Jordan head. I, don't I think can actually say, you're say you're a sneakerhead. Like if you have a, a wide variety of different stuff, then like yeah, like you're a sneakerhead. You're like you're a sneaker enthusiast. Yes. But if you're like just like you're only wearing Nike or you're only wearing Yeezys or you're only wearing Adidas, like I don't think you could really refer to yourself as a sneakerhead. That's just my honest opinion. I hate the term sneakerhead. More do you? Me too. I, do. I don't. It doesn't do anything to me. It, it's it's almost derogatory. Yeah. To me, that's yeah. fucked up. It's not. It's not. And like, if, why? If, if, why? You're, if you're, you know, if you're not in the realm of sneakers and you're like a lady walking, oh, you're a sneakerhead. Like, oh, you're a sneakerhead. I'm like, oh. Oh, you, you take it like like. But like she she that person assumes that sneakerhead is like someone who really likes shoes. To me, a sneakerhead is what people call kids who are just like crazed about fucking shoes. And like, I, I am one, not a kid, and two, and two I'm not crazed about it. Work like, I, I'm, it. Like, I'm a little bit more intri- like I've always been more intricate in whatever I do. Like, I'm gonna do research, I'm gonna know things, like, I'm gonna read up. I'm gonna it's more than up. just a sneaker. Yeah, it's more than just a shoe, it's a story, it's a story, it's the people. It's and the, it makes you happy. It's the story that you got there with. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah. a lot more to it, so that's why I'm so enthused. So mm-hmm. when they say it to you, feel like I think they're a little condescending. It, it, it's almost like, oh my god, your sneaker has slapped across the face. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, what? Mm-hmm. But whatever hobby they have, they'll line up for like ice cream. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, your ice cream head, like oh, no, you line up for ice cream, like for three hours. I don't know. Genuinely, I'll like, I'll get like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into shoes. Like I'll, I'll downplay like what is it? Because like, it's my hobby. Because they're like, they, they just can't see past the idea of not being a sneakerhead. Like, oh, well, you're a sneakerhead then. I'm like, yeah. no, no, yeah, I'm into shoes. I do stuff. That's it. Some people collect ties. Some yeah. people collect sneakers. Uh, Different worlds out here. The world is very big. All right, oh, we got park. park. I hear Marty wanting episode. to go exactly as I was just about to say. Shout out to Adam. Big and international, but it seems to me that whenever he has to see a collaboration, it's only limited to the U.S. most of the time. Sometimes it's in store only, and you can't forget about any online cops because that's nearly impossible. I can't remember when he released the collab on a wider release outside of the U.S. I could be wrong too. Living in Korea, there were so many pairs I wanted so badly, and they couldn't get them. I just read it my own way. I am also not about to pay the crazy resale prices for some of his collabos. Will he ever have a worldwide release for any of his sneaker collaborations? Group, moms and pop shops or sneaker channels. Underrated. Respect. The, the, I think the next hair should, should be worldwide release. Show less. So I think when he opens a store in those countries, then he'll do a release there. But he did a, a pop-up at Paris for the coat of arms of Pumas, mm-hmm. and they dropped over there first. Yeah. And then they went worldwide. Yeah, I'm saying, wide. when he opens a store there or a pop-up or something that he does, then he'll do it. Otherwise, he's not. He got something coming up for... He did Colette, too, over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did Colette as well. Because yeah, Ronnie does there. whatever he wants. So, well, he's from where is he? he? Oh, he's living in Korea. He hasn't done anything in Korea. So, so the thing about it is, uh, I think at some point he has to say somewhat exclusive. <laughs> he has to say somewhat exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Fuck like, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a tricky situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you put that many pairs out into the world, or do you let it go into one place, knowing the secondary markets there, and let it? 
do its own dispersing across the continents. I think Roddy doesn't care. I don't think he really cares about international right now. Or at that time. Could you imagine how much more money he'd make with international shipping? But maybe now he's going to do it international. But back then he wasn't focused on it because he was still trying to build it. And then I drinking mean, the Pepsi. Like. You just got to hope that, like she said, they open up a store near you and then you go there and do a... You can, oh, yeah. you can lose a raffle or something. Or a pop-up <laughs> in another boutique. Which okay, is sneaker battle. Bum, Camp bum. out one. Woohoo. 54%. Oh. Shout out to you. Shout out to... I have to take my shoe off. Shout out to the company, year. Uh, a little something. I like those. So, uh, oh, I'm wearing. I got second place. I'm wearing a wake all over the place today. Are you awake? Protect people, not borders. You know what I'm saying? Are you woke? Uh, you awake or you woke? You guys know what these are. Chill. What more can you say? Rules of engagement what on the back. What more can I? No, hurry up. All right. Well, the little hype beast in the crew is here to flash off. Sakai, gray color, color I wanted. Size five, fire. Man, you get everything. I'm a hype beast, let me tell you. I'm here. Hype beast, rule the world. Oh, shit. Well, well, could you, you uh, show the back of the tongue on those, please? Yo, I'm here, it's tone of my voice. Wait, what's the hashtag? Yo, mind your business. The hashtag is salty cheeks. You know what I wore. The bikini, what is he wearing, a bathing suit? Bikini bottom. <laughs> New Balance, 577, yard pack. Show them the back of the tongue. Got the cock on the what? tongue. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. On the back of the tongue. 577, tongue. made in UK, no, gum no. bottom, white cock. laces. No dick. No. Yeah, it's a dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> they wild. They wild. Show, could you show her the cock, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a fucking scum. I'm like, cock. did you say cock? <laughs> the show cock. It's uh, a kiss show. Just I, show oh, cock. yeah, shit, I got to do the thing. The thing with the thing of the people. Yeah, I am wearing uh, swimming trunks. What is next week's hashtag? Or this week's hashtag? Next week's hashtag. Oh, shit. Oh, I enthused. Found, I found it. It's down here. Dude. Enthused. Uh, Wait, enthused? Oh, we're not doing Salty Mama? No, because they don't know what it is. So. All right, we'll, have to, we'll have to elaborate on that next episode. Go, go, guys. So we're doing arms. enthused? That's a whack one. All right, whatever. All right, let's do something else. Hashtag. Let, let hashtag. Um, uh, <laughs> hashtag last week was group, oh wait, what's this week's enthused? Enthused. Hashtag enthused. That's uh, a lot of use. He knows. Uh, if you use hashtag group last week, you got a shout out this week starting it off. We got Rap Buddy, Molly Mall, Jamal, Chester Cogsworth, <laughs> uh, J, J C S E M A J. I'm sorry if I can't say because I'm not really sure how that works. J C Samaj. J, J C Maj. Oh, Samaj. somebody wanted me to bring up the. 2J's kicks selling baby Travis Scott's and Off White's is customs. Hmm. So he's selling baby Air Jordan 1s yeah, that's that are Travis Scott and Off White's, but they're customs. Yeah, he's selling them as customs, but they're fake. You, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not. Oh, uh, he's saying that they're customs? Yeah. Oh. Which kind of just <laughs> makes up for the fact that they're fake, I think. Alright, two we'll get to more. Well, on there story. was a, a big oh, yeah. conspiracy like a few years ago with uh customizers having like a factory producing like sneakers and they were saying like, oh but that's fake Jordan ones, like not real Jordan ones. But it's the same silhouette, but it's just a different higher premium material that they were using. Yeah. I and mean, they were calling them as custom, but people were saying like, Oh, that they're fake, that they're genuine made it. Yeah, I don't know who it was. I'm, no, I'm, I'm just saying, but like shoe search is the same they thing. They do the same thing. So what do you material. say they're fake or what do you say they're real? Because it's not the same material that they use from the Jordan brand. I mean, if you're using something better than Jordan, kudos. So what if... And if you're using something better than Jordan but making the same colorway, no kudos. Aha. But what if it's a custom? Because certain colorways, certain silhouettes don't come in baby size, like the off-white Chicago ones, are replicas or customs, but they're made in China and they're fake. Pairs, and people buy them for the kids or just even I to have them in know, display. This show is so long. What do you do when he's texting? Well, you were doing the same thing. He was on yeah, your phone. Because I'm, so. like, like, I don't care about the rest of this episode. Uh, we'll get some more information leading up to this. I don't want to just throw some speculation out there, so we'll talk about it more next week. Uh, we'll finish up the rest of the breakdown. We'll kick it off one more time. Use hashtag group. You got a shout out this week. You got Rap Buddy, Molly Mall, Jamal, 
Chester Cogsworth, uh, JC Maj, Jim C215, OG Kicks, Hater Extraordinaire, Show Enough 808, David Blockman, Dropin, Lester Solomon, King Bentley, sorry I didn't bring your t-shirts down a uh, sneaker con, Cap Official, E Park, Tones Giflets, and don't forget, Sink Got Soul. Good? Ready? Yeah, I guess we're done since. Eight minute episode. Yeah, I've got a lot of editing to do. Seven hour episode.